Hello, my name is Stephanie Gura and I am a junior at the Aerospace Engineering Department and the Computer Science and Engineering Department. My project this summer was the Flying Fish Project, which is a persistent ocean surveillance platform. I worked with Professor Ella Atkins in the Aerospace Department on the Autonomous Aerospace Systems Laboratory. The project was a, was a joint project between the Aerospace Department, the X Department, and then the Naval Architecture and Marine Engineering Department. This is what the Flying Fish looks like, um, or looked like. And um, what it is, basically, it's, uh, as I said, a persistent ocean surveillance seaplane. And uh, so it works as a buoy on the ocean, and it drifts, gathering data. But then when it gets to the end of its uh, watch circle, it, it's capable of autonomously taking off flight and repositioning itself as a UAV. And the first generation of the aircraft, which is the one we showed a picture right now, is capable of doing those things. The new generation, to be able to have this persistent ocean surveillance capability, it has um, solar energy harvesting abilities. So basically has solar cells on top of the, of the wings, and it will be gathering energy during the day. And just during the night, it just drifts as a, as a buoy. This is what a flight circle cycle would look like. So basically, it starts drifting and gathering data, and then it reaches the end of its watch circle, so it takes off, uh, it starts accelerating, gets to a takeoff speed and in the direction upwind heading. And then it takes off, breaks from the water, starts climbing, reaches a safe altitude within its flight envelope. It starts cruising and tries to cross the circle of the, of the, the watch circle it's keeping track of. Crosses, gets towards the end of the, of the circle, starts descending, starts losing altitude, lands, contacts water, recites the flight system, goes back to drifting, gathers data, and the cycle repeats and repeats. Now this is what it, the, 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 pr the first generation of the flying fish actually looks like now. You can see the pretty Michigan writings and everything. And um, as you can see, it has the wings, the floats in the bottom, that's where you keep the batteries for, for the, the functional. You, have, you can see the propellants on top of the wings. And in the middle where it's written Michigan, that's where we have the avionics system. It's keeping inside, inside the, the pod. The avionics system is where my research was mostly concerned about. And the flying fish will talk to the ground station, from, the, from water to the ground station. The ground station, as you can see, it has the, the laptop that will keep getting information from the modem, which is this thing on the top, in the top right corner of the, of the ground station. And there's a, an exact same modem inside the, of the flying fish, and that's how they can communicate through radio waves. This is what the avionics schematics look like. Uh, we have a Linux computer, in, which is the, the brain of the, of the whole avionics system, which is connected through serial lines to the server controllers, which moves the airplane, the inertial navigation systems, which keeps track of where the airplane is, which is velocity acceleration, and the maximum power point tracker. Maximum power point tracker is what um, will negotiate how much power it can, maximum amount of power you can take from the solar cells from, that are mounted on top of the wings. It's also connected to the modem to be able to talk to the ground station. And it's connected to an ITC line to analog digital converters, which are connected to our analog sensors, so pressure sensors that can measure angle of attack, can, me can measure side sweep angle, and more importantly, can measure our air current airspeed. And if you can look at the, the what the project the the brain of the airplane looks like, he, this is what goes inside the pod inside the avionics of the new version of the flying fish. Um, here we have the modem, which is what talks to the modem on the ground station. Um, this is the main computer, the the Linux computer. This is just a, a, a logic converter for all things that are connected to the board. This is the the servo controller, so it's what moves the airplane, and they're connected to the computer through an ITC line. This is the inertial system, it's the MIDGE, and it keeps track of the exact position of the airplane in an inertial frame, its velocity and acceleration. And there's another line that will come out, not inside the avionics pod, but elsewhere, to connect to the maximum power point trackers that will talk to the, solar, to the solar cells. Now, if you look closely here, this right here is the specific is a computer and inside the brain of the, the avionic system. Right here, this little thing here in the middle, this is a 600 megahertz Linux computer 
that, is, that has a 256 megabyte RAM memory, and right, it's, we have it set up so that it boots from a 2 gigabyte micro SD card. Here you can see the USB connection. Here it has all the serial ports. Here's an Ethernet port. And this is basically what my research is concerned about. Throughout the summer, I was involved in interfacing the, this computer with the uh, MPPT. Kirokiri just interface that talks to both of them. I was also involved in just running speed tests on this computer. This is a new computer. The, the computer that was used in the old avionics system, it's a, a little bit outdated compared to this one. This is better, faster, and we had to figure out how to interface with it. Well, I also had to run some simulation programs to be run on this computer. Um, calibration programs to be able to set the new calibration for the, the servo controller into the computer. And right now I am working on a, a data filter to be able to filter the data that comes from the, the airspeed sensors um, and a GP, GPIO controller, which is a general purpose IO controller. So of those pins that we had on the board, they're, they're, some of them are general purpose IO and I'm working on the interface that will talk to the heaters that are connected to the, the airspeed sensors, the pressure airspeed sensors. And that's basically my research this summer was developing software for the computer that I showed in the, from the avionics system. And uh, it's currently on the develop development. And uh, the second generation test will have its flight at the end of August to demonstrate its full capabilities of persistent ocean surveillance. And that's my research, so thank you.